right, so here's a quick video for Cyber on how to set up your uh, big project 1.2.5. So the first day, if you're in cohort A, you're looking here, cohort B, you're looking here. First day, you want to open up a bunch of tabs. So you're going to open up your cheat sheet because it's going to help you set up your plan. Um, so I got my cheat sheet open here, right, with all this stuff that's going to help me. Um, you're going to open up the submission doc, which looks like this. Um, and we'll talk about that later. And then you should look at the grading rubric. It's a good plan. So you can see where all the points are coming from. It'll help you not miss something. Um, and your notes, your notebook would be a good thing to open up. And then the actual lesson 1.2.5, which is it's a trap. So if you have all those things open, you know, you can pause while you get that open. Um, then the goal for the first day is just to understand the project, look at the document, and come up with your plan um, before you before you ever open up the virtual machine and start doing stuff. You got to have a plan because if you saw ten points of your of your 50 point project is your documentation which includes the plan so really you have to answer these five questions and I and you should do it with bullet points luckily with this one I gave you a lot of guidance and you don't have to find everything possible on this computer you just have to focus on these five things in a future project you'll have to do more um, but right now you're just gonna do um, you're gonna make a list of what you have to do for firewall rules, how do you investigate suspicious files, um, how to find downloaded files, and lost and deleted files. So if your goal is to come up with a plan of action, um, I would do a couple of things. One, I'd jump to here. Hopefully you've been keeping that up to date. Um, I'll show you what I want to see. It doesn't have to be like crazy, but if you're talking about firewalls and you think what's the very first thing I should do for a firewall, um, your answer should be to set up uh, to turn on recommended settings. The firewall, right? Um, and this whole thing on firewalls was section 1.2.1. So if you ever are missing something or think you did more you can jump back to you know 1.2.1 .1 in here and look up any of the things you didn't have um, after you turn on firewall settings and I'm not going to finish this all for you but uh, you should check for specific ports to make sure they are not they are disabled and then you'd put the ports you're checking for, right? So you'd say check port. Um, I'll give you one. HTTP you want to check is on port 80 um, and 443. Okay, so you got those. You want to check for HTTP. There's other ones you want to check for. Hopefully you wrote them down in here in your cheat sheet. And another weird thing is in, in every one of these projects you have to research some stuff for yourself. So this situation is one of your friends said they're using their sister's computer and after one day she already lost some data and thinks there's some security problems. She feels if she does any more work on the computer, it's like walking into a trap. So you're going to do all this stuff to try to help your friend out. And once you read this and read this, you're going to see something weird in this section, right above number seven. And that's, I told you a long time ago that um, just finding the HTTP and the other port we did in 121 wasn't enough. There's tons of dangerous ports to have open on your computer. So, let me remove that highlight. Um, what's most important is 
there's this other feature that you want to make sure is, is uh, disabled, and that's for Windows file sharing. So we already know some ports to disable, but um, this leaves your computer open to being attacked. So you need to look up what ports are used for NetBIOS and SMB, because those are used in Windows file sharing. So in addition to the ports you already know, you got to look up uh, which ports have Windows file sharing. And if you're ever wondering, you could Google search it. You could be like, Windows ports for these. Or in your notebook, if you go to 125 and jump down to it, you can watch this video, Admiral Akbar. But if you scroll past that, you can see a list of every port we have. Right? And this middle column is the important one, the service name. So you can go down and you can be like, okay, remember how I said 80 was HTTP? So you could find that, um, or you could use Control F and type in HTTP, and you could find all the cases where it lists it, like port 80 and port 443. See how it has HTTPS? So you need to do this and find out where NetBIOS and <coughs> SMB are plus any other ports we already found in, in uh, 121. So that's something different that wasn't there before. And then you'll just go through and um, make a list of everything you need to do and then say, you know, uh, if you find a port that shouldn't be open that is, what you're going to do about it, and then how you're going to investigate certain suspicious files. This stuff was from uh, 1.2.2. Three and four are not really from a lesson specifically, but they're kind of common sense. Where are you going to find downloaded files? Where are you going to find lost or deleted files? And then this stuff, this is what we just did in class. This was the stuff from one, two, three, with killing processes and task manager and stuff. So it was kind of um, processes, this kind of stuff here. So check that out and make a good list and then after day one once i check your list and you know it's you're not missing anything huge then you're going to come down and do it so i'll make a video on that uh, for later so yep, take your time look back if you don't remember stuff or didn't write it down in notes and get these uh, checklists done for what you're going to do for this problem all right talk to you later